What is going on, guys? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is just CW Anaheim and doing a little recap video, basically talking about all their matches, what we progress in over it, um, the event with, as a team. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So uh, I've been getting a lot of tweets and basically comments and videos and different things like that, just talking about how um, you know we really got so much better uh, over the course of the event as a team. And uh, I really just want to give all the credit to the league. Honestly, we had a poor performance there. We ended up going like three and four in the league, but that actually helped us tremendously. Um, switching players between Octane and Formal, they're like two completely different AR players in my opinion. I had teamed with Sam for basically three and a half years. Um, I think there was some COD stat thing that tweeted out that we had teamed together for like 28 events, which is a long, long time um, across AW, IW, Black Ops 3, um, in this game, we had teamed basically through every Call of Duty since I've been competing, and um, we've just gained a lot of chemistry together, and it was basically like second nature, like breaking a hard point, I would never have to say anything, he already knew what to look at, already knew what to do, and uh, it was just relearning chemistry as a team and as, um, you know, a unit, so basically we had to go through the motions of figuring out what's comfortable for formal and hard point, what is going to make his job easier, what's going to make our job easier with him. And, um, you know, we had to do that in every single game mode. So hard point, obviously two out of the five game modes, we got to figure that one out. We were really, really bad at it. Went through a lot of time and practice over it, sat down on private match, went over setups and different things like that. And that helped us really progress um, as a hard point team. As far as search and destroy goes, we only lost three search and destroys over the entire weekend somehow. Um, when at the league, we weren't too good at it. We spent a lot of time going over strategies, figuring out what's comfortable for everyone, how everyone likes to play search and destroy, whether it's, you know, play slow, play fast, um, you know, work picks, whatever it is. Um, you got to figure that out. And uh, the two weeks at the league that we had to play those seven matches on land and then between Anaheim and now where we currently stand, I just think that we've progressed so much. We've really found that happy median across all three game modes. We still obviously have a lot of work to do, but we've really, really progressed from day one. Day one, we were getting smoked by every single team, and now I'm pretty confident that we could win a championship with our team now. Um, so basically, going to break down Anaheim now. We played our first match versus Epsilon. This one actually went the stretch all the way to game five. It was a very close series. The first map we came out, we absolutely destroyed them like 250 to 100. Um, it was Forest Hardpoint. Everyone was looking good. Vibes were good. Uh, went over to London Docks, s and one of their better maps. One of our better maps too, but we played it very poorly. We ended up losing it like 6-4, to four, uh, or 6-5, to five, something like that. Threw that one completely away. And then Flag Tower CTF. This map's always like a coin toss in my opinion. I just... You never know what's going to happen. Like, it's it's one of those maps where you can play it really good, but then there's always those sneaky players, sneaky plays that end up just costing you flags. We jumped down, like, down 0-4 to four versus Epsilon. We ended up coming back, tying it up 4-4, four to four, and lost in overtime. So we're currently down 2-1 in the series. Went to over to Valk Hardpoint. We won that map. Um, and then we won game 5, I think, 6-1. to one. So pretty solid um a regain, I guess, from the team, but that was a very sketchy series to start off the tournament. We hopped right over to play Rise Nation. We won the first map. Vibes were looking good. Everything was looking good. Then we find ourselves to lose 3-1. to one. Uh, I think we lost the Search and Destroy 6-0. They literally did everything perfectly. Um, we went on to CTF. We put them on Flag Tower. Flag Tower was not our map over the course of the week, and we continued to lose it over and over and over, and that really hurt us throughout the tournament. So we lost that to them, and then we played St. Marie Hardpoint, their best map. It's not one of our worst maps, but it's definitely not our best, and uh, we got some work to do on that one. And then we lost that series 3-1. to one. Went out to play TK later that night. Team was looking good. Uh, we won that series 3-0, so that basically put us in a spot where if we beat the open bracket team going into Saturday, that we were going to guarantee ourselves a spot in pool play. Basically, if us or TK lost, Rise was going to start in winner's bracket. TK actually ended up losing 5-5 last map to E6. If they win that series, right, Rise Nation starts in the loser's bracket of the entire tournament, and the whole thing is different. It just It's mind-blowing to me to see how one round in Search and Destroy changed the entirety of the tournament. The tournament they ended up going on to you know go all the way through winners finals to having to lose two best of fives to red reserve that could completely change red reserve you know ends up maybe beating us so then you have different teams in winners bracket so it just would have been crazy to see how that all would have panned out if that one round of snd would have changed um so we went on to play optic gaming in our first round of winners bracket we took that one three to one uh it was a pretty close series for the most part team played extremely well and i was excited how with how well uh, we performed in that series the first map 
Uh, everyone on my team did pretty well for the most part. I had a very bad performance. Uh, maps two, three, and four, I really picked it up, and we ended up taking that series three to one. Moving on to play um, Red Reserve now uh, in our second match of winner's bracket, and we ended up losing that one three to one. But first map was very tight. We uh, won it by two points. The second map was St. Marie S and D. We're pretty good at that map, but we're not so good at that map, if that makes sense. Like, we'll have our moments where we play really well and use teamwork, and then we'll have our moments where we just don't do the right things, and it ends up costing us. Um, so, I think we lost it up like 6-2, 6-3. We had several number situations that just kind of threw away and uh, ended up not going in our favor. Lost the CTF 2-1. Again, Flak Tower was not our map over the weekend. Uh, then, we had a humongous lead in the fourth map, and uh, we just threw it away. We gave away streaks and uh, ended up hurting us in the long run. So then we dropped down to loser's bracket, ended up playing FaZe or Mind Freak. FaZe ended up clutching up game five against Mind Freak, so we played FaZe Clan. We won that 3-0, very, very strong performance from our team. Um, I think none of the maps were really close. It was like a 250 to 130 hard point, uh, like a 6-2, 6-3 S&D, or 6-4, maybe something like that. And then it was uh, 7 or 8-0 in the CTF, so it wasn't a close series. Played extremely well as a team. Went on to play Unilad, same thing, very strong start from us. Went like 250 to 170 in the hard point. I think it was 6-1 in the SND. Uh, then in the CTF, I think we won 3 or 4-1. to one. Uh, Wasn't very close. Go on to meet up against Red Reserve again in the Losers Finals because they dropped down from beat losing to Rise. We uh, actually lost the first map this time. We were playing extremely well, doing all the right things. Uh, then, uh, you know, we ended up just losing it. We threw away one of the school rotations and uh, ended up biting us in the butt and uh, found ourselves down 0-1. We actually won the Search and Destroy this time, so we flipped flop from the last series, tied it up 1-1. Lost our CTF again, one to three. Um, so several plays that could have went our way and different things that we could have done as a team to um, better ourselves to win the map. But uh, is what it is. We lost another CTF to them. Uh, then fourth map was Forest Hardpoint. Again, playing them neck and neck, playing really, really close. Ended up giving away streaks early and uh, ended up hurting us later in the map. And we lost that one by like 80 or 100. But, uh, you know, overall, I'm very proud with the team. Uh, we played extremely well, and I'm excited to continue to grind and focus on the remainder of the year. We got the remaining two weeks of the playoffs, or remaining two weeks of the league. Um, and if we do well in that, we should be able to qualify for playoffs. And then we would have playoffs and champs the last two events of the year. Um, and, yeah, man, this year has been flying. So thank you guys all for the support. I hope you guys have enjoyed the progress of the team. And uh, I'm excited to continue to learn and basically better our team uh, throughout the year. So thank you guys all for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below what you guys like to see in the next one. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.